Theme song. 2.0. Oh, fucking hello, Australia. Nice to see you, mate. 38 degrees today. Hot in the summer. You know, we're just here with me old mate. Skyball. Skyball, Zach, sounds Eastern European. Did we lose you? Huh? I don't know who you are. Come on. I lost me a long time ago. I earned this in a... Fucking chasing the wrong milk carton, baby, there. You know? That's it. That's all there ever was. So, uh, hmm. So okay. this game... Is a... Platformer that... Sort of... Feels like a cross between Sonic and... Uh, Mega Man. I'd call it an auto-platformer. Um, in uh-huh. the fact that you... It's sort of like a cross between a rhythm game... A platformer and a quick time event. Okay. You'll see what I mean when I play. I feel like this is a mobile game. It feels like something that could be played with one button while I'm on the bus. Sort of. All right, so we just run. So you've got two different sort of paths you can take. So it's saying there, you know, the A or the B path. And as you get close, you can perform moves depending what the colors are. Uh huh. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so like you can change depending paths you go. Path variety is nice. I mean, you know, you'd expect it because you need it, because otherwise this whole concept falls apart. But like, a lot of gamers would just let the concept fall apart, and that would be that. Ooh. Ow, Aaron. Ow. Uh oh. Uh oh. I want to go up there. I can't go up there. That's for good boys. I'm not a good boy. Yeah, Aaron, you know. I've been naughty. <laughs> oh, Sprungy. Because, because you've been naughty, it's off to the My Shirinoi gift for you. Aww. You're going to see her tits jiggling about. Yay. Did you hear that, like, Sakurai was like, Mai's not in the background of the King of Fighters stage for Smash because, you know, she's a little. A little saucy. Yeah. She's a saucy gal. Even though, okay, Mai's got some titumses and you can see a lot of her skin. But that game has Bayonetta in it. And Bayonetta is aggressively sexual. Everything she does, the weird little moans and things like that. I'm getting half of a, I'm getting a pre-chub just thinking about it. Like, if your game can have Ah. Bayonetta in it. Mai's really, like, it's the difference, you know, that's what I mean. Like, Bayonet is sexual. You know, Mai's sexuality is kind of in the eye of the beholder, because if you're like a gay dude, no one gives a shit about Mai. You're going to be all about those Geese Howard abs. Absolutely. Maybe Andy Bogard if you're, like, into a bit of twink action. I need air on gray enemies. Okay. So they're boosty, jumpy dudes. Okay. All right. Cool. Boing. I feel like... The gameplay is solid, but I don't know whether it, you know, I I got to reserve judgment, but at the moment it feels like this should have had more of a musical emphasis. Like, I feel like that might have been just you seeding me the idea to begin with, but I, you know, I'm looking at Well, that's at why it. I said it's sort of like a rhythm no, game. Yeah, I know, but I mean, the because thing is now I'm thinking, you know, I came into a thinking rhythm game and... Yeah, I know. I've got this they idea described of it, it ba- working. They described it basically, you can play at your own rhythm. Um, I mean, if it, if it... Sync to music, I think it'd be fucking rad. Like, if I could, you know, play this to Cypress Hill. All right, so now I know the advanced movement. That's how you get it higher. So to unlock the higher stages, you got to go to the top paths, which you need know the advanced your love movement. lifting me higher. So I like that, like, you can stay low, which is basic. For beginners, or middle, which is a bit more intermediate, or try to go high, which is the yeah. you need the advanced movement. And I like that it shows the buttons you're pressing. I mean, okay, that's cool. I just like the inputs. That's yeah. nice because someone who's watching can sort of tell what's you're going on and pressing. Those yeah, games these days made with the uh, you know people watching in mind. Just for like speed runs and things, so like. Leaderboards and stuff on this, you'll be able to see how they play, I guess. Boingy, boingy. 
That's right. Only the good can reach amazing heights. The rest of you subhumans have to go down to sea level. So we don't need to see you ever. Now I take it back. I don't think this is a mobile game. I think this would be a spiffy Switch game. I still feel like this is a bus game. But like, a bus game that requires a little bit more. Get a bust a nut! Okay. He's got big squeezy hands for but nut busting capabilities. Capabilities? That's the one I, I was looking for. Not like, capabilities. I do like the idea of rocket punch. Although I haven't thought of a way of doing that that isn't dangerous. Another tutorial? What am I locking now? <laughs> oh god. Oh god, stop! You are unlocking power, Risty. I mean, you could have that in the yeah, future. I already knew that one. You could okay. have the jet assisted robot Risties. Maybe you want to try and get out the C door, the A door. I oh, know, it's this. Alright. Let's go. That just expands your field. Doesn't like a good old fashioned field expansion. Don't touch them. That's where Pain Pain lives, Aaron. Can you do it in here? Yeah, can. Sweet. Yeah, that's the new that's the new hotness, man. You gotta like you know. Never. It's like me learning piano, and like now there's like fucking, you know, pianos have fucking pedals and shit. Cause I'm so used yeah. to, yeah. Like that's the thing is I'm used to a keyboard. My keyboard doesn't have pedals, so I gotta like imagine pedals. Oh, I see. A loving tribute to Imagine Dragons. <laughs> uh, so that's, that's look out, Aaron. And then like, the weird thing is though is like, the anything that is just the coordination factor is I'm really good at. So I picked up pedals reasonably quickly. Cause it's just feet. You know, I'm not thinking about like, oh yeah, four kinds of finger placement and fucking, you know, which the professional term for is fingering, which it's one of those things that like makes me wince a bit to hear someone tell me to practice. You know? Practice your fingering, Gabriel. Yeah. Gotta practice I, I know, it. I know. She's not pleased, you had to practice. Yeah, but someone telling me to go home and practice my fingering is just like... And cause like, the lady that teaches me seems really nice and normal. And so I can't... You know, the one or two weird things I've said have been like... Punch you know, everything! Like, met with a polite haha. <laughs> which is like, normal for so normal... Like, please don't say these things again anymore. Like, and I know what you're thinking. No, I didn't explain, like, fucking the ins and outs or horse sticks. I just, you know... I just I blew the third strike at it for three hours. <laughs> I just talked about a third strike. I mean, it's tempting, because, again, the one thing that I do have really, you know, down really well is the coordination and timing factor. It's just bringing it all together. Because I'm used to really only having to think about one at a time. You know? It's not like this, where, like, you just get a big X, and then you just push X. Sometimes there's like X, B, A, Y at the same time, and then also your left, you know, hands got to be doing shit. You're just like, oh. You know, because they don't have options in piano. It's not like you can push X or Y. Not a lot of songs, it's like, yeah, and then you can just push whatever fucking key next. They're kind of picky about that, I've noticed, in Piano Land, Aaron. Yeah. You know? They're snobs. No respect for just freeballing it. Yeah, the spikes don't. It doesn't look like spikes are good to touch, Aaron. I was trying to get to the top path from there, because I fucked it up. I had to start over. You're a bee. No, not a dreaded bee. I'm the Kim Beasley. <laughs> or the uh, Kim Basin. For, yeah, for our foreign um, listeners, Kim Beasley was a, a bee-based based supervillain. He was a portly gentleman. Uh, who was briefly leader of an uh, Australian political party, and uh, within his somewhat uh, John Goodman-like tummy was an entire hive of bees, which is one of those things that just doesn't really, you know, it's not really useful in the modern world, you know. A lot of supervillainy, especially minor supervillainy, is really just an inconvenience in this day and age, which is sort of sad, you know. I mean, I feel like we need to create perhaps an island or a cultural outreach program for, you know, Australia's surprisingly mm. large population of minor supervillains. I agree. We should house them on our, on a raft. 
like That's Bronwyn Bishop, who's capable of running like the Juggernaut, but only in diagonals. He'll be a problem one day. Yeah. Once those diagonal high ways are built, we're fucked. Oh, oh. Oh, that was bad, Aaron. Now you're going down to Beesville. Uh, here's Aaron. Oh, 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 what's that? That's the bee. Gotta learn about the birds and the bees. Mate. I'll get a B plus. That'll show you. Ah, yeah. uh, it's health. There we go. It's got a fucking cross on it. That means health. Wing. Stop hitting the cannon, please. I want the bullets. There we go. Color switch. Ooh, could Aaron be going for AZs? Has Aaron got A's? Ooh, 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 ooh. It's like fucking, it's, it's changing. Aaron. Oh, oh, that's a shame. It's a tricksy bastard. Well, uh, fuck looks me, like it's the birds and the bees for Aaron. That's fine. Sprawling. Or not. Uh, fucking. <laughs> the A doesn't lock on. Oh, okay. So you gotta like. You've actually gotta be it. on it, yeah. Uh, that's what was fucking me up, because I kept thinking it was supposed to lock on. Careful, Aaron, you got not a lot of health left. I love its Power Rangers now. Bam, 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 bam. This does feel like there's meant to be like. A TV show tie-in, you know? I sort of miss that when it was, like, mandatory. Like, you weren't allowed to just come up with an action figure and go, oh, yeah, here's fucking Bill. You need the tie-in down. Yeah. Like, what's Bill about, man? I don't fucking... I don't want to sit here and buy Bill. He's about sacrificing goats. How's with a little may, sacrificial may as well goat be. action like, figure? You know? Came out, I think Action Man had two shows. One of them had like a fucking live action section. Oh. Oh, what the uh, fuck? The doublesies. You reveal their honeycomb center. I do like that fake honeycomb shit. What even is that? It's like fucking syrup and polystyrene or some shit. Because you can make it. They just have like fucking, you know, shit on the internet about it. Because it's a lot easier to make than fucking real honeycomb. Because, you know. Only Kim Beasley was able to do that. You kind of had to pull it out from in his butt cheeks. That's why they caught him the bee's knees. The thing is, it was really good honeycomb. It's just like... One of those situations where you don't want to see it getting made, you know? It's a bit like a sausage in that regard. You want some dunny honey, he used to say. And that was why he didn't become prime minister. Along with Where the Bloody Hell Are You, Dunny Honey has been one of Australia's great failed uh, catchphrases. This is such a hard game to concentrate on play, listening to whatever the fuck you're going on about. <laughs> and, Aaron, um, did, you, did your parents never give you Dunny Honey when you were a oh, good boy? They didn't. That was my problem, you know. I'd, I'd be just normal and fucking... Be good, competent in this game if I didn't have my dunny honey. It puts a rose in every cheek, Aaron, you know. It's... And a rose in every butt. Yeah. Alright, there's a health down there, that's up later. I mean, time. fair play, like, this is one of those ones where I can't tease you because I know how those weird little rhythm things where it's like, you know, you push B five times. And then your brain's got to go, okay, now X, B. And just every now and then, you'll just, your brain will go, nah, B again. Because I do that a lot. Nah, I'm not going to risk nah, it. fuck it, dude. You're just going to, like, you know, you got to stop pressuring yourself. You know. Just chillax. Yeah, I don't like, I think you should just lock onto those ones, because it's... Yeah. Ooh. You just got to be cool, be chill. Get your dunny, dunny, honey, honey, bunny. All right, kids, who wants a mouthful of Dunny Honey? Ew, not Beasley. <laughs> that fucking broke me. Settle down, mate. That's a crime. <laughs> Put 
Put your nose between my cheeks. I can imagine him doing it too. Oh, into the laser. It's a shame. I mean, you know, he lost the bees during the great bee day out, and then he lost a lot of weight, and so now there's no room in his fat folds for the hive, which is sort of a shame. See, they just migrated into his brain. Dude. Look, the guys that are about to shield themselves with the same color, what is your life? Why would you do that? <laughs> you can have the double shield to confuse the dude, or, oh, I'm going to have the same one. Yeah, it's like if I was invincible to bullets, but not lasers. And then instead of wearing a laser-proof vest, I just got like a bulletproof vest as well. I did the expandy one. Rubber baby buggy bumpers. Rocket fist, Saren, and you're a little rocket boy. Yeah, because he doesn't have much of a jump without, like... Okay, i got to practice on these neutral ones. I mean, do the chains do anything in terms of, like, your movement? Remember, you got the expando field as well with your whole... Yeah, it's, it's a bit of a slow activation, though, so it's a... Not kind of... No, my emotional barriers! It's unfortunate. So yeah, when you when it comes out, like, when you're in the air, it's... it's I just gotta get used to it. Yeah. So we gotta go... Oh, uh, I'm not saying, zoop. yeah, it's, it's... No, I'm just saying, I gotta incorporate into reaction my gameplay. Game. And you've been smoking the pot. I have not. I have been... Shit. I don't have a backup argument for this. <laughs> uh-huh. And where are the prostitutes? <laughs> that was great. You've been smoking pot. No, I haven't. I've been... <laughs> shit! <laughs> the pot made me unable to come up with a lie. I'm not good at lying. I haven't been smoking pot. I've been in my fucking garage doing buckets. Oh. Exactly. <laughs> Different. <laughs> I do like going punch, 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 punch. I've been huffing buckies. Is there a way to, like, get a higher jump off the fucking... Do you have to come down on him or some shit? Like... So this looks like you're not getting the requisite air. I fucking... Look. I hate the neutrals. They're practically cheating. It's ridiculous. Now we just gotta stick to the low bow. Fuck you. Ah. Uh. Well. <laughs> Back you go! This is basically how dogs see the world when they're attacking drones. I don't like this section. Alright, I got a plan now. I don't think touching the electricity is good. You think? Well, I haven't. It's, you know, it's, I thought it was it's, optimal to my health. It's only a theory at the moment. Hmm. I mean, but doesn't electricity make us go, so wouldn't more make me go faster? You'd think. Yeah. That's why I tase myself for every fight. And jog. And while I'm wanking. Of course. Natural. Yeah, man. That's the most natural place. I... People who are into it, we call it a thunder nut. Or thunder a, or, nut! Or a screaming blanca. I gotta just dash and then do it. Don't like. Yeah. Let's work on getting through the stage and not thinking too much about fancy. Because fancy's a trick, Aaron. Like. Ooh. Alright. So you know, I gotta dash and then jump. Alright. Apparently, you can't do that. So maybe I. You had to get air off of, like, the fucking... I think board. I had to dash further. Like, you got to come out of animation so you, you can need do the You need the blue thing. guy. Like, you're not going to get there without him. One might almost say the blue was the blue arrow. Apa katu.
I mean, I don't think the music's inappropriate for the game at all, but I feel like this is one of those indie games that needs a killer soundtrack. That sucks. I hate that area. It's just... Can you just maybe fall? Because, no, the bullets keep going up. So, what I need to do... Can you not do, move left and right while you're falling? I can just... i got to get to the neutral position, and then just wide down, because you choose the direction you boost off it, and yeah. that's what I keep doing. I keep oh, fucking okay. up. Wide down. Wide down. I have to go for a little wide down. Because I'm a 50-year-old man with a speech impediment. Ooh. Or I might be German. You never know. Ja. Oh, I suppose that'd be more of a V, like a Vi down. I wonder what the contrapoint of that is. Like, is there like shit that... I mean, it must be involving the umlaut. You know, we're just... You can tell it's... Like, what fake English... Oh, look at him go! Oh. That's a shame. He's come yeah. easy go. But I know what's up there now. That's fun. Like, what? You know, when a foreign TV show has, like, English people in it, or, like, Americans in it, what the... You know, but they're speaking German or whatever, because fuck it. You know. What's the German-sounding version of English? Or the English version, English sounding version of German that they give to like the fake Americans and stuff. He's doing it! He did it! Hey! A respectable C. I'll take it, that was hard. Doors open doors. I mean, not really, but. Yeah. I think like with maybe two slightly modified, yeah, fix your hair, champ. Two maybe slightly modified leaf blowers, I can have like thunder punches. Because I don't want to put fire there. I yeah, like no, a, no, 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 no. That that's disaster. I mean, if I had, I don't know. If we have a science nerd, yeah, absolutely. We don't have one of those. Oh, no. We have two morons who are capable of like, I don't know, filling a super soaker with like metho. And look, as fucking excellent as that is, when you want a flamethrower. When you start talking, let's mount this to somebody, that's when trouble begins. Because I've seen it happen on the internet where, like, some dude's like, oh, I'll put, like, fucking Roman candles on my feet, and then I'll have rocket, you know, feet. And, and they he fall does over. for a sec. Yeah, and they fall over, and the Roman candles just deploy on their butthole for, like, a minute. And you wind up with serious burns that way. You know, you're like, oh, it's just a Roman candle. But then it's like, yeah, it's just a lighter. But if you hold one on me ring for, like, a solid minute, that's going to fucking hurt. Yeah, see, when, when you're getting it, it feels like a rhythm game. I think it's something to do with the chain. Oh, look at him! Look at him! Man, C's on the bottom of that one. That was a, that was a hectic one. Uh, yeah, so the I'm field, sick, your field gets bigger, the better you're doing. Uh. So you can easily grab things. So you need to be doing good to get the high pass. Uh, yeah, I hadn't noticed that. Yeah, this really does feel like a game that's for like speedruns and shit. Mm. And it's got multiple paths and shit, which is cool. What I always enjoyed about um, Star oh, Fox on the 64. Beep, 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 beep. Multiple paths. Ooh, that's a rocket thingy. Ah. Oh. oh. Sir, I've invented a new drone that is guaranteed to stop Fly Punch Boy in his tracks. It's a bomb on a pogo stick. Wonderful. Oh, Ship it at once. Somebody beat this man. One of the greatest regrets of my life is I worked as a security guard for ages and never once said God sees him and I had every opportunity to do it. Yeah. That haunts me. I'd almost pick up a fucking... Like a... Festival shift. Just to do that. You'd have so many opportunities at a festival. Yeah, well that was why I chose festival. Cause like, I was like, ah, oh, you know, I don't want to pick a bar. Cause there's, you know, a solid chance I just won't have anything to do unless I pick like a bad day. And I, you know, I'd rather just be like, alright. Let's just know what I'm getting into from Go. And like, 
as butthole as festivals or like concerts can be, they're a very known quantity in a lot of ways. God sees him. How far are we going across? Oh, you will have plenty of time to sober up in my dungeon. I'd like to have a dungeon, to be honest. I'm gonna be more of a fungeon. You say that. Yeah. No, my my idea of torture is just to get like smash players and try to get them into third strike. Today we're gonna practice inputs. Oh, nope. A direction and a button. Yep, that's very good. That's a, that's that's a command move. That's, that's actually a normal. It's a pity we can't force D pads upon them. Deep hurts. I just like. It annoys me I can't use it as a con choice, you know? It's odd that it's not an option, because I always thought that, like, you know, there were some. You know, like, uh, well, one of those things that's, you know, true to the rest of the fighting games is. You know, people control Smash Brothers in some weird goddamn ways. Like, it just wouldn't surprise me if they was like, oh, I use the D pad. Hey, oh, that thing reset. Boing, boing, boing. Bullets! Okay, so the paths are different oh. to the score, which is now even more confusing. It's okay. It's just a number. Death is but a door, time is but a window. I'll be back. Who said that? <laughs> He's Vigo, oh, yeah. ruler of Carpathia, sorrow of Moldava, which what the fuck is, was the point Moldava of that? is still a place. Oh man, how you? Oh, you gotta you expand are... your bubble. You gotta... you gotta think outside the bubble. Because I'm you traveling can't. that bubble. The whole body is bubble. I mean, did it hurt? Fucking Holy Shaw's feelings where they made oh, a big on. joke about him being smart. Like if, if I was doing like a TV show and we're like, okay, we've got this great idea for a joke. It's a hilarious joke. You know, jokes will be like, you know, make something unreal real, you know, something absurd. Something people could never possibly believe. Okay, in this scene, you're gonna sound like you're intelligent. Like, hey. Uh... I don't know, I feel like he's the one who pitched it. You're just like, look, that's all I've got. Just say I'm ugly. I'm comfortable with that. No! Beat! Yeah, I think in general, sound design. Again, it's, it's not that any of it's exactly bad, just none of it stands out, and I think the game needs it to stand out. It's a it's a very, very small indie game. Yeah, I know. I'm just, I know. I'm not saying he should have. I'm just I'm just saying, reminding the fans of that oh, oh. as well. Just giving it context because I haven't. It's like five bucks, I think. Yeah, you know, five dollars is good. Yeah. They just gotta remember we, we we critique everything pretty much evenly regardless of what it is, but you just gotta remember well, what the again, price is. You know, too. We, we do it with like you know, again, I, I'm not sitting here saying that this game had every fucking you know, uh, option available to it. So it's a, you know, yeah, reality is a reality. You, you hmm. add the detail ooh. Well, Oh, look at you with your fucking emotional goddamn walls. Yeah, don't walk in this game, Aaron. It upsets me. This is about jet punches. All right, so you got to approach him from this side. Oh, that's terrifying. All right, what'd that do? I got a big coin. All right, fair enough. Kind of like when you punched that Aboriginal fellow on the street and he gave you a big coin. He, he started it. He was yeah, like, Mate, you can't punch me. And you're like, I'll fucking punch you. No, Aaron's making shit up. 
I did once throw a guy out of the bar <laughs> and he had a bunch of change in his top pocket, which is a really weird place to keep change. Uh, and then so I pushed him over and just, just money, his money went everywhere. And I was going to let him pick it up, but then he just staggered off without it. So I was like, huh? That's the video, that's the, the, the rule of video games, that's my change now. It was only something like $2.80, but still, you know, I I defeated, I'd final fighted a guy for it, so I was absolutely going to have it. Absolutely. Cool. Uh, 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 uh. So this one's one. interesting because it teaches you very quickly at the start that things that have directions now. Yeah. So they're like, go that way. Not that way. I was like, no, no, no. Yeah, you get some soft ones before the deadly spikes. Much like a lot of those trampoline places, you know, because like after 7 p.m. they take all the fucking safety padding off and they put the spikes out. And, uh, you know, oh. it's still a lot of fun, but it's uh, just a little more thrilling, I think. Absolutely. You know, for the adults. Fear of death. Yeah. Combo two. Yeah. Iron, iron, punch for your launch. You can't touch him. He's unhuggable. What a jerk. I just want to love you. With punches. Like my cat when she's in a mood. It's like, ha ha. And she's like, Meh. Oh. Not only am I picking you up, I'm gonna fucking take you outside to be brushed. So you don't fucking sprinkle hair all over everything. I swear to Christ, like, I rub and rub and rub that cat with the fucking brush and the glove. Like, you know, it's one of those staticky gloves, so it like collects heaps of the hair. And like, I'll rub clean all the way through, and then there'll just be nothing left, and I'll look left and the pile of hair just has eyes, and that's the new cat now. It just, never, it just never runs out. I feel like I could shave her and she'd still like shed a heap. Yeah. Just generates fur out of nothingness. You'll yeah. shave it completely, completely nude, and it'll cough up hairballs, and you're like, what? <laughs> hey! <laughs> Someone's playing silly, buggers. There's only one path on this one. Must be close to the end, then. The end. Ugh. Ow. Oh, fucking spiky booze. Yeah, I need that health, yay. Shit. He's coming, he's going. Oh. He's not even looking. Not even witnessing this. Uh, how the fuck are you supposed to deal with people who are all like you just gotta go through them I mean the nuts thing is like this is what I've been saying for years is why do henchmen like why send your fucking henchmen out into the world with like a clear weakness on them when you could just spend the resources to come from completely in spikes and then the hero's fucked you know and then someone finally does it and oh here's Gabe complaining just, you know, just can't, just can't be satisfied. Right? Gotta be a dick about everything. You know, this, this, this outfit's clearly run by like a Robotnik that knows what he's about. Oh, oh, oh! What the fuck is that yellow crap flailing around behind you? <laughs> oh! Okay, oh, boing, boingy, boingy, boingy. Are you stuck there forever now? Fuck. I don't know. That's weird. Fuck you! <laughs> Get him, Pogo Boys! To their credit, the Pogo Boys have been effective. Anything that's sproingy and just fucking annoying to hit. I want... Someone walking home by themselves in the night 
And then just out of an alley when they walk past, just a bunch of really big buff bodybuilding dudes completely naked on pogo sticks following them. Surround them. <laughs> Why aren't you jumping? Why aren't you jumping, little man? Kind of like a real life Rust reenactment, but not naked, hopefully. And they give him like a pogo stick, and then, you know, he, he, he gets on it, but then they're still not happy, and they're like, you know what you have to do. And he sighs and takes off his clothes. <laughs> okay, I thought we weren't coming to that. I was wrong. Steps on it, and then immediately the muscles grow, and it all makes sense to him. The bullet's just infinitely there, guys. Bounces back into an alley. Ah, ah, ah. Cripes! That's not fun. No! I wanted to go that way! I was holding right at the, the back! Let's get into the spike! Like when you get angry enough to turn into like a chicken. <laughs> they should give me a fucking prank show. Why they give the fucking kid from goddamn, you know, Stranger Things a prank show? Should give me a prank show because his face is a prank in itself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so mean, Aaron! <laughs> How dare you take this show lowbrow? <laughs> I'm sitting here sitting trying again. to maintain a positive and an inclusive environment for spaz nuts and tard monks. <laughs> And, <laughs> and there it you is. You make fun <laughs> of the kid who can't enjoy corn on the cob. Aaron, <laughs> like, why can't he enjoy corn on the cob? Because he's got fucking munted teeth. Oh, really? Yeah, he's got like some kind of like soft palate. I think it's fixed now, but like, it's basically just a developmental disorder where like your fucking front teeth don't grow, grow in for ages. It's weird. So, yeah, like, I mean, I don't know. Maybe that's why he got cast. Don't get me wrong, he's got charisma and he's good in Stranger Things. But like, it's hard to cast like someone who's effectively a reverse beaver in anything else. Oh, now I'm doing it. See, I'm blaming Aaron. He started this train. I'm just I a passenger. I did not. There's no train here. I can't, can't conduct enjoy the train, corn on the sir. cob, Aaron, and that's the best way to enjoy corn. Look, I'm gaming up here. That thing says repair. That thing says something else. I'm worried. I'm worried that we're going to come across more mechanics when we hit this point. I just want to be done. We're at, we're at 37 minutes right now. Come on. Game. Respect my time. I'm going to respect my time. That's actually really fun. I'm enjoying it. Let's go to let this one run a little over. Let's see what happens. Because I feel like I'm at some sort of mid or end point. This is a bit of a yikes of an area. Shit's, you know, business is picking up, Aaron. This is, this is a real shit now. You know, they're punishing you for making the wrong decisions. I think you got to be a little more, you have to approach this shit sensible now. Don't try to style points this Oh, I am. Oh, God. Slow now. Oh, God. What? Nothing. Now you may be fucking scared. What'd you do? Do oh, that, nothing. Don't... I thought you were trying to style points shit. No, I'm just going just fucking slow at this point. On this map... Oh. Eee! Criminy. Fuck you! Fuck you, you fucking boingo! Because, I mean, you'd watch a show if a bunch of fucking buff naked pogo dudes just started stalking dude, some guy down a fucking thing. You know? Like, it'd have to be a guy. You can't pull that prank on a woman or she's just going to think pogo rape's happening. The Me Too bit hasn't gotten to the pogo rape section, but it's gonna. Pogo community has got a reckoning coming. Need that. Lordy. Because their dicks would be flopping about, Aaron. I'm thinking of it right now. It's getting me through this section. 
Because the scary prank ones are good because, they're, you know, they're, it's fun watching people get scared. And fucking high-strung gay guys, oh, just the fucking best. I got greedy, Martin. I know. I do the that same thing. That sproinged me right into the dude. <laughs> fucking sproing. Yeah, you gotta, you know, your reaction times, Aaron. You gotta be on this thing. I, just, I my... sent a reaction telegram yeah. and it arrived five seconds later, okay? I was like, hello, Mavis. <laughs> I got it. He said, what? Put me through to 555 five, five, Aaron. <laughs> oh, I'm at the point. I'm at I the got point. A, I got a hot tip for him here. Push X. X, you say. Thanks, darling. Ah, oh, come on. Uh, I man. was robbed. They're getting strict. Jab. You know. Because I'd make a lot of my pranks really surreal. You know. Because, like, a lot of the fucking scary ones, like, it's called Prank Encounters, which I think is the worst title for anything, but, you know. That is an odd title. It's so bland. Because, like, Scare Tactics wasn't great, but, like, they did this one great thing. I mean, the title wasn't great. The show was great. They had this one thing where they do a fake Scare Tactics show called Fear Antics. And the idea was, it'd be a scare tactic setup, but the idea was, oh, we're gonna like scare this guy. And then the guy would flip out and pull a gun. Uh -huh. The best part was there was a running gag with a guy who was like supposedly the host of like Fear Antics, would see the gun get pulled and just run away. And you'd see like the poor person who's like thinking they're pranking somebody else, but really getting pranked themselves. Just see the host run and just immediately know that they're alone with a gun nut. And that's like just hell's here. And the looks on their poor little faces were just the best fucking things in the world. I think the best thing about, like, prank encounters is each episode is just one prank. So they kind of let them build really well. They're also not afraid to let people think they're genuinely going to die. That's always a good one. It's, it's important. Like, they, they need they need that. I pressed the button, game. <laughs> they should, like, games. Oh. Can you? Well, you can jump like, off. I'd have a game that has, like, a mic support, and you can argue with it. <laughs> like, I press the button, game. The game's like, yeah, all right, I agree. And then it just rewinds slightly. It'd be really good in, like, sports games. You can argue with the ref. In the cricket games... You can, like, appeal. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, well, you know, in cricket, like, you get, like, LBW. You got to go, how's that? And then the ref goes, nah, fuck off, you poof cunt. Oh, is that actually a reason? I don't know cricket. You have to, oh, okay, so, yeah. Like, you can appeal. So, okay. if the ref doesn't immediately go, all right, yeah, that cunt was blocking the fucking wicket with the pad. Because that's, okay, that's a way of getting out. Right, okay. So, the idea is, you're not allowed to just stand in front of the fucking stumps. Because that's just too easy. You'd ruin it. Um, you have to defend the stumps with the bat. And if a, the ball hits you, but was going to hit the stumps, that's LBW, that's out. So you're not allowed to just... It's like goaltending sort of thing. So you're not allowed to do that. But, like, sometimes the ref won't call it immediately, and so everyone will spin around and go... Aah! And, you know, then they have to check it usually with the video ref. And they have computers now, so they can just go, yeah, that's it, fuck off. And, uh, you know, that's cricket. India's really good at it. And, uh, yeah. That's the, that's the, the true meaning of Skyball Zack. It's the In cricket we made along the way. <laughs> Keep It Classy is proudly sponsored completely by its fans. We thank you for your support. It expanded somehow.